Mr. Homeschool. Hi, Mr. Homeschool here. So today's lesson is going to be all about the origin of the Christmas tree. This story starts in Germany in the 8th century. At this time, there were many pagan tribes all throughout Europe. So a Catholic missionary named Boniface was sent there to convert them to Christianity. And there was one pagan tribe in particular who would gather around a giant oak tree and make sacrifices to Thor, god of thunder. So to prove to them that sacrifices were not good to do and that Thor was not real, Boniface came by with an axe on one Christmas Eve right before one of their sacrificial ceremonies and started chopping away at this idle oak tree. So all the villagers swore that Thor would not let this happen and would strike Boniface down. And sure enough, nothing happened to him and he chopped the whole tree down with the help of a miraculous gust of wind. So after that giant oak tree fell, they all realized that Thor and all their pagan religion stuff was all bogus and that helped Boniface better evangelize the one true faith. And nearby, in place of that giant oak tree, stood a small evergreen tree which Boniface used as a replacement tree to symbolize Christ and peace, calling it the tree of the Christ child. So all due to this one event, these pagans would be more open to Christianity and later be baptized. And ever since, we as Christians use the fir tree as our Christmas tree, representing the birth of Christ. Hey, thanks for coming with me to learn all about the origin of Christmas trees and St. Boniface. So St. Boniface later became a bishop and then a martyr, and his feast day is June 5th. St. Boniface, pray for us. Hey, so who is a Christmas tree's favorite singer? Bruce Springsteen. Hey, so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more things like this, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you, Merry Christmas, and God bless you. Hey, Mr. Homeschool.